declined by 19%. Election-related and political ad advocacy advertisements contributed to the 30, to the 3.06 billion revenues in 2010. Competition for talent went into high gear in 2011 with an aggressive new entrant in the arena. This pushed production costs higher, negating the drop in employee costs and general administrative expenses. The media conglomerate paid a cash dividend of 2 pesos and 10 centavos per share in 2011 and just recently 80 centavos per share. For the first quarter of 2012, ABS-CBN registered a net income attributable to equity holders of the parent of 306 million pesos. Consolidated advertising revenues edged up with the ad rate increase in February 2012. Consumer sales for the period also grew by 15% year on year, primarily due to the growth in Sky Cable revenues. The company's debt ratios remain well within limits prescribed under its loan covenants. In 2011, First Philippine Holdings reported a net income attributable to equity holders of parent of 2.1 billion pesos, lower by 91% from 24.9 billion recorded in 2010. Net earnings in 2010, however, include the 23.6 billion gain on the sale of 6.6% stake in Meralco. In addition, First Philippine Holdings affiliate First Gen, which in 2010 accounted for 82% of First Philippine Holdings revenue, posted a 50% year-on-year drop in net income attributable to parent of 35 million US dollars from $70.2 million. This was primarily due to the lower income contribution of first-gen affiliate Energy Development Corporation, which recorded a loss attributable to equity holders of parent in the amount of 162, $167.2 million, compared to the net income attributable to equity holders of the parent of $4.1 billion in 2010. Energy development recognized a non-cash impairment of 5 billion pesos as a result of the shutdown of its Northern Negros geothermal plant. Booking the impairment loss clears the issue of Northern Negros plant's suboptimal operations with finality. The decision is expected to save the company around 800 million pesos a year in cash operating costs for the plant. Further, energy development acquired Bacon Manito or Bachman power plant to which it supplied steam. This resulted in a 1.2 billion of foregone steam revenues. However, the sale of steam to Bachman is expected to be replaced by the sale of electricity from Bachman after the targeted recommissioning of its plants in 2012. Removing the effects of the one-time gain on the sale of Meralco in 2010 and the impairment loss from the Northern Negros geothermal plant, First Philippine Holdings' recurring net income would be 3.7 billion pesos, or up by 68%. In the first quarter of this year, First Philippine Holdings posted a net income attributable to equity holders of parent of 5.2 billion pesos, which is six times that of the 704 million posted for the same period last year. This is primarily due to the 3.3 billion gain from the sale of additional 2.66% stake in Meralco. Stripping this one-time gain on sale, net income attributable to equity holders of the parent is still higher by 164% due to a 171% increase year-on-year -year in equity in net earnings to 1.7 billion from 634 million as associate first-gen declared derived better value from its investments in geothermal energy development. 
First Philippine Holdings revenues is up 21% year on year to 19.8 billion from 16.3 billion. As your management finally resolved the company's long-standing debt problems, focus of its attention is now at improving value to you, our shareholders. Based on the stock market prices as of end first quarter 2012, the parent company's combined shareholdings in ABS-CBN and First Philippine Holdings amounted to 33.4 billion pesos. While debt of the parent company has decreased to a manageable level of 1.1 billion, Lopez Holdings' market capitalization of over 25.1 billion reflects a comfortable coverage of almost 23 times its debt level. Dear shareholders, there is no smooth path to success. Challenge will always be part of the milieu. But with a firm resolve and guided by the timeless values by which the Lopez Group does business, we can firmly say that we shall overcome whatever comes our way. Just as we saw the final conclusion to the debt restructuring process that began some 10 years ago. We thank you once again for your confidence in your company, your board, and your management team. Good day. Copies of the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31, 2011 were distributed to the stockholders prior to this meeting together with the annual report. The said audited financial statements for the year 2011 shows the performance of your company during the year. Management is now prepared to answer any question you may have on the report of management, the annual report, and the audited financial statements. Mr. Chairman, the Booting Trust Agreement executed in favor of Lopez Holdings Incorporated, does it extend to the new management or control, controlling interest of the Miralco, particularly the First Pacific? That ref are you referring to the voting trust agreement over first holding shares? Yes, sir. That refers only to uh, the first holding shares. That is that is within the 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 Lopez Lopez group. It does not extend to the Miranda. It does not extend to the new management. Thank you, sir. No, it does not. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. Sana sana po pag merong istam saka give stamp ka na binibigay <coughs> eh, sa halimbawa sa nakaraan sa ating group of companies pag, binig, pag may stamp dapat palitan ng give stamp kasi minsan nung nakaraan sa nung nakaraan taon binigyan na uh, pinakiusap sa akin na isa kong kaibigan lumabas makatapos sa meeting may pupunta daw siya eh, hindi, hindi pinalitan ako tuloy na pahiya hanggang ngayon napapahiya ako Kasi akala nila may spreketik na na nangyari. Mr. Chairman, kanina naman, ang nangyari, uh, nag-register ako. I'm the holder of Uplifted and Shares Lodge with the Philippine Central Repository. Sabi ko, wala akong stub. Wala akong give stub. Wala, wala akong give stub. Wala akong put stub. Nagpipilit si Lucy. Nandiyan si Lucy. Nandiyan pa si Lucy. Pili ko yung patawag dito. O sabi natin. Hey, ayaw pa rin ako bigyan. Ang iba pinipirmahan, kasi yung naubusan daw ng gifts at pinipirmahan, pinapagpirmahan ko na ito, itong ribbon ko, ayaw pirmahan. Yung manager pa yata doon nagpirmahan siya, ayaw talaga, maski anong pilit ko, tumatakbron sa kabila. 
Mr. Chairman, I think uh, we have, uh, we have uh, culminated from the very grassroots. This Ben Press Corporation, now Lubis Holdings, who <coughs> have been experiencing a very, experiencing a very big deficit in the past years. But because of good management of the law cases, we overturned this deficit into profitability. I think I have to congratulate you, Mr. Chairman, for bringing, bringing up our corporation in the end. Pasensya na lang. Hindi na mangyayari ulit siya. We'll see to it. Alam ko, this is the first time that we're holding our annual stockholders meeting in this uh, place, in this environment. So, siguro nakakagulo pa yung staff to prepare for all the giveaways and all that. No? So, next time, uh, hindi na mangyayari yan. Siguro elementary grade siya. Kaya-kaya gawin nito, sir. Sige. We'll take note of that. Any, any further uh, observations or questions? Okay, since there are no more questions, the chair will now entertain a motion for the approval of the report of management and the annual report and the ratification of the audited financial uh, statements. Mr. Chairman, I move that the report of management and the annual, annual report be noted and that the audited financial statements for the year ending December 31, 2011 be ratified. I second the motion. It has been moved and seconded that the report of management and the annual report be noted and that the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31, 2011 be ratified. Are there any objections? There being none, the motion is carried. The next item on the agenda is the ratification of the acts of the Board of Directors and of Management, as reflected in the Report of Management, the annual report, and the minutes of the meetings of the Board of Directors. Mr. Chairman, I move for the ratification of the acts of the Board of and Management, as reflected in the Report of Management, the annual report, and the minutes of the Board of Directors. I second the motion. It has been moved and seconded that the acts of the Board of Directors and of Management as reflected in the Report of Management, the annual report, and the minutes of the meet meetings of the Board of Directors be ratified. Are there any objections? There being none, the motion is carried. The next item on the agenda is the election of directors for the ensuing year. There are seven seats in the board to be filled. Mr. Chairman, I received nominations in favor of the following stockholders as directors for the ensuing year, 2012 to 2013, in accordance with the provisions of our bylaws and with the SEC Circular Number 16 of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Mr. Oscar M. Lopez, Mr. Manuel M. Lopez, Mr. Felipe B. Alfonso, Mr. Eugenio Lopez III, Mr. Cesar E. A. Virata, Mr. Washington Z. Sisip and Mr. Salvador G. Terona. Mr. Spirata and Sisip were nominated as independent directors. Mr. Chairman, since there are seven seats in the board to be filled and only seven stockholders stock nominated, uh, I move that there be that they be declared directors for the ensuing year and for and until, the and until their successors shall have been duly elected. I second the motion. Is there any objection? There being none, the motion is carried, and the secretary is hereby directed to cast all the votes in favor of the seven stockholders duly nominated as directors of Lopez Holdings Corporation. The next item on the agenda is the appointment of external auditors. The table is now open for nominations. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I move for the reappointment of CSIP, Gores, Belayo, and Company, or SGV, as the external auditors of their corporation for the year 2012. I 
second the motion. Is there any objection? There being none, the motion is carried. Mr. Secretary, is there any other business which has to be taken up at this meeting? There is none, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. No more congratulations to the Lopez Group Company. First, for reducing the debt from 560 million to 30 million in 2000, uh, 2010. Second congratulations is for the good uh, singing of the national anthem, the best that I have heard so far from the previous stockholders meeting. And double congratulations to the company. Thank you. Thank you. The national anthem was produced by ABS-CBN. Mr. Chairman, our gross income was down to 25, uh, 25 billion from, from 27.8 billion in 2010. Our net income down from 14.5 billion in, in 2010 to 5.25 billion in 2011, ending December 31st, 2011. My question, Mr. Chairman, can we reverse the trend in the coming years, Mr. Chairman? Uh, actually, the drop in the net income was a result of if you strip out the one-time gain from previous years when uh, we sold uh, our stake in Meralco. But if you look at the recurring income, we are more or less at a steady level uh, throughout these years. And this is a result of the uh, contribution of both ABS, CPN, and First Philippine. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Morning. Uh, I have to suggest that uh, before we conduct a, a Lopez Holdings, maybe the ABS must be first, so that the the group, when we presented to the stockholders of Lopez, there is a view for the later uh, previous meetings. Anyway, uh, uh, that is maybe next year. Uh, may, I have, may I have to know that uh, Lopez Holdings by next year issuing a stock dividend instead of cash dividend. There are no plans yet. Uh, we will have to see how the financials uh, in the coming next uh, 10 months uh, uh, shape up. No? So it's too soon to uh, make any pronouncements. So itikdan natin kung kumusta ang atin na financial health uh, by that time. Because uh, if there is a in this year issuing a gas dividend, I propose that next year by 2013, if there is a dividend to be issued, be as stock dividend instead of gas dividend. Thank you. Okay, we'll take note of that. Good morning. My name is Ramal Samba, stockholder. Just a question. Uh, with the recent uh, acquisition by FPH of the of PG's stake in the, the gas plants, uh, will those results, 100% of the gas plants, be consolidated into the company results for second quarter or starting third quarter? <laughs> uh, will the 100% uh, the, the operating results of the gas plants be consolidated to the company by second quarter or third quarter? May, may I request uh, Mr. Nono Ibanez, President of First Philippine Holdings, to answer that? Actually, uh, First gas is already being consolidated because we, we own 
60% in the past. So uh, it's, it's already there. What will happen is the, there will be a reduction in the share of minorities. But it will therefore result in higher revenues. Starting for the second quarter, sir. For the second quarter. Then just have an additional question. Um, also on the power business, like Meralco is uh, currently building power plants on its own. I think it will be operational maybe 2015 or so. Um, I'd just like to ask how that will affect the power business of the company and um, what the company is doing to uh, prepare for that or to mitigate the effects. Well, on the one hand, of course, it will uh, create possibly additional competition in the market for our power generation business. But on the other hand, as a minority shareholder in Meralco, we will likewise benefit from the additional earnings and possibly dividends from the power plants. There is also an existing power purchase agreement that runs until when, Nonoy? 2022. So until that time, uh, Meralco will continue to buy from uh, First, uh, First Philippine Holdings uh, generation capacity. Since there are no other business uh, to take up, uh, do we hear a motion or an adjournment? I move to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. I second the motion. <laughs> it has been moved and seconded that this meeting be adjourned. Is there any uh, uh, objection? There being none, the meeting is hereby declared adjourned. Thank you for attending this annual stockholders meeting.